Hi everyone. This is the PLC Fiddle Degree F and C, or Fahrenheit and Celsius, challenge solution. And when we look up here, we are given variables labeled temperature Fahrenheit and temperature Celsius. And when the convert C input is on, the temperature Fahrenheit is converted to Celsius, and the result is placed in a variable called converted to Celsius. And when convert F input is on, the temperature Celsius is converted to Fahrenheit and the result is placed in a variable called converted to Fahrenheit. Now the formula for doing this from Celsius to Fahrenheit is you take the Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1.8 and for Fahrenheit um, you take the Celsius degree multiply by 1.8 plus 32. So let's, with that in mind, let's uh, do our math instructions and do the, our conversions. So the first thing we'll do is we'll put on our variables and we will make sure it's only on a one shot. So we'll do one for converting to Celsius and we'll do another one converting to Fahrenheit. And what we'll do is look at the math instructions over here. And for the Celsius, what we have to do is we have to do a subtraction and then we have to do a divide. So let's do, let's put a divide on there and then we'll put a subtraction on there. And then, uh, so we'll have the variable degree C or convert C, convert C work bit. Then what we'll do is do our subtraction. So our temperature uh, Fahrenheit will be uh, subtracted with a constant and Let's just see. Our constant here is maybe either 1.8 or 332, so it's constant number two. That's number two. And then we're gonna store that in our convert converted to Celsius. And then we're gonna take our converted to Celsius. We will divide our constant, which is the 1.8. And then we will store that at converted to Celsius. And as we go along, you can actually see this working. If we were to put a Fahrenheit temperature in here, um, let's put the value, uh, oh, we'll try uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And what we'll do is we'll turn on the convert. C and convert C takes 50 and we convert it to Celsius and that's equal to 10 degrees Celsius. So that seems to work fine. Now let's do our Fahren or convert to Fahrenheit. So which is equal to our Celsius times 1.8 plus 32. So what we'll do is do our add over here. Then we'll do our multiply here. So our for F and our work bit to make it a one shot. That's the transition from off to on. And then we'll do our multiply, which will be our temperature Celsius. And we will, uh, first of all, multiply that out by 1.8. And we'll store that as converted to Fahrenheit. And we'll take our converted to Fahrenheit and we'll add the constant of 32. And we'll store that as converted to Fahrenheit. Okay, so that looks like our program. And we'll check that out. And we'll just use the same temperature, so our Celsius. We will put in as the same as what our result of the previous one was, was 10. And what we'll do is we'll say convert to Fahrenheit. Turn that one on. And when we do, our temperature converted to Fahrenheit is equal to 50, which is exactly what we expected. Right. Let's do one more here. We'll do uh, Celsius at zero. And we'll convert that to Fahrenheit. 
and when we do it's 32 so let's just go the other way around if we have 32 okay, what we're looking for is uh, 0 here in the converted so let's try that and that's exactly what we get so let's do a quick check and it passed our test so everything seems to be exactly as we expected so that's our solution for converting Celsius to Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit to Celsius using PLC Fiddle and our math instructions. Now all the links and further challenges can be found on the links below. And if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also go to um, our website at accautomation.ca and subscribe to the website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.